this video we're going to be running an experiment um, we want to take food scraps bury them in one of our beds um, and see what happens to the food scraps after a couple of weeks um, we're probably going to run this over a period of three weeks um, so let's look at what we have uh, that will be going into that um, bin for the experiment um, Firstly, we have coffee grounds. Um, we've got lots of these. Uh, we've got tea bags. We've got carrots. We've got spinach, potato peels, apples, lemon, um, some bread there. We've got banana peels, pumpkin peels, eggshells. We've got coffee filters and we've got cabbage. So the intention is to see how this breaks down over a period of say three weeks and also we've got some red wigglers in there but they're very few the last time we introduced about 10 20 red wigglers so we just want to see you know if that population will grow and if we are going to get um, good quality soil out of these over here we've got our um, a bucket. This is where we keep all the food scraps. As you can see there, everything is still chunky in there and we are not going to cut. And we have about, um, when we weighed this, we think we've got, you know, give or take, about just under 10 kilograms um, of food. Uh, but I would imagine this would be uh, yeah, it would be just about, you know, nine, eight uh, kilograms of food, including all the food scraps. And we are going to be taking all of this and burying it over here in this um, bed. Um, you would recall, I think, in one of our videos, um, we had issues with the tomatoes. Uh, so this is the bin that is currently growing tomatoes, but because we have some space on the sides so we are going to take advantage of this void um, i have prepared the burial section um, so we're going to throw in the feet here and we are going to cover it up so that we don't end up with fruit flies that's the last thing you want and what we're going to do we're going to come back a couple of months a couple of weeks later in three weeks to be exact and see how the food has broken down but what we also gonna do is to get some maybe 10 or 20 more red wigglers um, from our bins and introduce them here you know just to assist given the size of the food that we are bearing As you can see, there are all the food scraps. Um, we've just leveled them up a little bit um, just to make sure. Oh, and also we've got some you know, uh, leaves from the carrot plant pulled in. So now what we are going to do, we are just going to cover everything up with a little bit of the soil and we're going to also hunt for a few red wigglers, about 10 or 20, and introduce them here. And thereafter, forget about this for three weeks. There you are, everything is covered up nicely. Um, we are just going to put um, uh, water it, uh, put rid ridiculous amount of water just to make sure that things stay moist and of course the fruits and the vegetables they hold a lot of moisture in them but as I was covering up um, we just uh, realized that this soil is actually you know um, very dry so we need to put in a little bit of water to keep things nice and moist.
Right, we've had a successful hunt, as you can see. We've got a few red wigglers here. We've got about 10 of them. And these are going to be uh, sent into this bin uh, to perform their duties of chowing that food. And we already have a few already in there. So this is just an addition, but I think the population there is quite small. We introduced about 10, 20, I can't remember, but it's a very small population. So this would just be an addition to that. And there goes our friends. And by the way, thank you for watching.